to upload tag metadata, first we go to the landing page of ETN website. We log in. And here we change the environment to acoustic telemetry. Then we go on data, import metadata. The first thing to, thing to notice is that the database only accepts comma separated files. So this can be checked in control panel, in clock and region, region, and in advanced options. We have the list separator and we should make sure that it's comma. We apply. We say OK, and we go back to the ETN website. Then, if we want to upload tags, we download a sample CSV. We save the document. This way, we make sure that the the file will be in the right format so we open the sheet and here we can see the different files to fill in not all of them are mandatory this can be checked in open tag file description here we have a list of all the different fields that we can enter for tag metadata and the ones with the check mark are required to be filled in. Here we we must make sure that the owner organization is matches exactly the name uh, already entered in ETN. That the tag type, if we are using a, a normal tag, we should use ID tag. If we are using a sensor a tag with sensors, we would use sensor tag. Here we most of these fields to enter can be consulted in the purchase sheet obtained uh, from the manufacturer. And also we need to enter the tag estimated lifetime, which can also be consulted in the purchase sheet. Then we fill in as many fields as possible. Here I already filled a sample. We can see all the mandatory fields and many other optional fields to fill in. So then we click on import tax, we select the file, and we start the import. When the data is successfully uploaded, this message appears. If there's an error, a red message appears and we can know what kind of error we have. Then we can consult our tags by applying a filter here. I entered all the serial numbers as test, even though usually are just numerical numbers. And here we have our three tags. We can also change the fields present in the screen by clicking on show height fields. And we can also edit each tag by clicking on them. Here we find the different fields and we can manu manually change these options. And then we click on tag device. Here I can change it. Then we have the option to also to duplicate a tag and to delete this tag. Finally, we can also download the data we have in the screen. So if we download this data, we will receive a CSV sheet containing all the tags complying with the filters. As we can see, the screen, we receive, and here we can see all the data.